Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the product market. This is also called a circular flow model. Okay, so in the center of the product market is the government. We also have people or households and businesses. So basically, everyone gives money to the government. This is called taxes. And in return, the government gives everyone services. Now, when people want to buy things, like consumers or households, they give money to businesses. In return, the businesses provide them with stuff. Stuff includes anything from products, to goods, or services. For the businesses to provide people with that stuff, they need workers, or human capital. So people, or households, provide businesses with work. And in return, businesses pay people money in wages. So basically, everyone gives money to the government, the government provides everyone with services, people give businesses money, businesses give people stuff, people give businesses work, and businesses give people wages. That's how the economy works, folks. Okay, so this is the product market shown in a circular flow model, and basically what this kind of model shows is how everything is intertwined and one change in one spot can impact everyone. So, just for example, businesses raise prices on stuff. People buy less stuff. People pay less money in taxes to the government. The government now has less money to provide services for people. So basically, when you change one thing, like it impacts everyone, the businesses, the government, and the households, any change can impact the rest of the economy.